Hello everyone, it's your host, ba 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 Paka Sin. And today we are back with another exposed video. Now, today we have Wildcrats today, and they was on PBS Kids, same as Kids George. So, let me just go ahead and give you the timeline real quick. Because, three more videos, and then we're at my big video for my exposed anniversary. I upload it to be the first, um, June the 25th, I'm pretty sure. So, we, we have a bunch of stuff planned for that. A bunch of videos I pre-recorded but never dropped. So, we just have a bunch of videos left. So, uh, probably video on Wednesday and Friday. So, let, let's just get straight into it. <laughs> I just uploaded Kid George yesterday. So, hopefully this video will be dropping today. But, we all know how Bach is in this. Because, Kid George was actually supposed to be recorded three months earlier. But, let's just get straight into it. Three. Two. One, let's get it! Let's go! Before we even start, I already have something to say. Yo, can't lie. This is one of the best intros in cartoon history, bro. SpongeBob don't have nothing on this, bro. But I'm gonna expose these guys so freaking bad. <laughs> and, and of course, wait, wait, we're gonna do a little bit of rough then. Why the heck does North America look like a bunch of little poops? I mean... It is, but... Man, look at this guy. He is so scared. If you don't get your Finding Nemo looking at out here, bro. With them blood splashes on your mouth. What have you been doing, bro? Bro, Chris or Martin. If you don't get away from him, bro. Hey, yo, y'all know that one TikTok with the monkey? And, y you know, I'll, I'll show you, but I'll, bl I'll blur it out. A curse. Bro, where is this man at? Is that a freaking Venusaur, bro? If you don't get your Pokemon training, look. Wait. You, you know, you know, I just thought son, but we, we will save that for then. Because I, I think I got son. I, I got son. Bro, this man Martin's the type of guy to freaking put his hands up during a roller coaster. This man probably wears shoes in the house. If you don't get your 1993 Ultra 11's Dusty Crocs looking at it out of here, bro. Freaking throw them shoes in the trash. 1999. Freaking, freaking warmer. Bro, what the heck is that? Freaking ant you looking like Jimmy Neutron's daddy. Bro, what is with Martin's face, bro? Does he have an octopus under him? Hey, yo, but Loki, Chris always had the drip, bro. There you go, Shaggy Cousin. This man look like he smoked weed from a game controller, bruh, with that nasty t-shirt. Hey, yo, but low-key, Wildcrest is more diverse than any TikTok group ever. Bruh, so green, blue frisbees just appear out of nowhere. Hey, yo, let's take a second. Why do, I, why do I always say, like, bruh, hey, yo, just like, okay, let, for this last part? We're gonna switch up the vocabulary, bro, because I got a high vocabulary. Let's see, let's try this out. Is that the bird from Rio? Also, also, also. Don't they have to touch the animal to transform? Like, bruh, if I even look outside my house, a freaking bird will just fly away. Like, all I have to do is look. So, how did this man touch a hawk? And, and when they, like, peck you or something? This is a full-on Power Rangers transformation slash a full-on Miraculous Slaybug transformation. Now, up until now, I was kind of rocking Chris. You know, I like the green and, you know, his outfits really were good. But out of all the animals to choose... In the intro, you choose to be a flying gecko. His brother gets to be a hawk. Well, he he over here a mix with Charizard and Bulbasaur, but but it's a whole lot. This a lot more discipline. Where is the bottom of his teeth? Are you some type of alien human teeth hybrid? Also, what's up with that nineteen eighties mother's cheetah print glasses? Talking flight and land, bro. Now, now that's just straight up cool. If you guys don't know, my favorite movie is Lion King. I literally have a copy of it in my room. And it, it's just always been my favorite Disney movie. Well, not my favorite movie, but my favorite Disney movie. And that's just cool. And then in the background um, of the intro, it's like 
like rapping and stuff in right, right, right. Okay, that's just cool. I can't even roast that. This man's teeth is still on summer vacation in Honolulu. You know, the sad part is th th there's someone out there who actually has a crust on Aviva. And, I, and, and, and you know, just think about it. It's like, yeah, some of y'all just down bad. Martin did not just jump into a crocodile's mouth to receive a darn turtle. The amount of confidence. The, you know, that that's big respect for Martin, bro. I do not like you. Your, your fit is trash, but that's big respect. Also, Martin is just straight up smiling while the crocodile can just bite down at any second and kill him in seconds. <laughs> No, 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 we're, we're, we're not gonna let, we're not gonna let this slide. Martin just tackled a 400 plus pound lion. We're not gonna let that slide. Does this man have super freaking strength? Is this man Superman? No, 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 no. Not to mention, Martin didn't even turn into an animal. No, 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 we're not gonna let that slide. I'll talk about this later. And then look at the lion's face after. Martin should become a boxer. We got TikTokers becoming boxers. A safari zookeeper should be pretty good. I like how they show Martin doing like cool things like transforming into cool animals while they show Chris slamming into a tree, probably getting permanent brain damage or turn, turning handsome like that one episode with Squidward, bro. Also, SpongeBob exposed is never happening. Alright, play my music. Brr. Okay, all off beat. We already know all off beat. But now, I have a theory. Not a good one, but maybe it could be true. Okay, okay. My theory is that Chris and Martin are actually Pokemon trainers, but maybe just a different region or dimension, kind of like Rick and Morty. Maybe something like that. This explains why Martin is able to tackle a 100 and 400 pound sun line, 400 sun pound line, and Chris is able to survive getting hit by a tree. In the Pokemon universe, Ash has shown to be able to pick up Pokemon that weigh over 400 plus pounds. And also in the game, you constantly face god level threats. And this also explains what the heck this is. But there's one thing. Where's the Pokemon? The Pokemon or the animals? When the Crap Brothers turn into the animals, it's a form of catching them. So allow me to sum this up. Chris and Martin are the Pokemon trainers. Aviva is their professor who makes their Pokeballs. Go wild, wild, wild crabs. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, Wildcrats aren't Pokemon trainers, but it was actually really hard trying to roast Wildcrats because I actually really like this show. It's an actual good show for children, by the way. And also, did you know, um, the Crab Brothers have had, like, multiple other shows, like, Z Zobu Mafu, or whatever it's called, and, um, Crab Creatures and stuff. Also, they are both over the age of 50, which is... So, so that that that's just respect right there. So get give these men some credit. But yeah, that's all. Um, thanks for coming to my jo dojo. <laughs> that that that's why I'm gonna call my channel. By the way, the Zen Dojo. So see you guys later. Road to 200. See ya. <laughs>